Okay, have you seen it yet? It might yes. be the hottest thing on your social media feeds today. Artificial intelligence, AI, you know about it. It's been around for a while, but it's exploded over the last few days as a wave of people began using the technology. Have you done it yet to create no, some, some really it, interesting pictures? It's beautiful, I think, <laughs> but these images come with a lot more than just a price tag. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman has a warning for anyone looking at creating some AI artwork. A new medium for modern art. These images are not painted or photographed. They're created by AI, artificial intelligence. We're definitely in a very exciting time with the development of artificial intelligence. It's becoming really, really sophisticated at this point. A sophistication that's introducing AI to millions who never used the technology before. Check your social media feed. You'll see images like this from an app called Lenza or answers to questions from ChatGPT, created by a company called OpenAI. Today, it crossed a million users. AI trackers are calling this a crossover moment. So that's kind of interesting how this shift in this kind of AI that's in some ways been there for quite a while has now been given like a new lease of life or a new kind of accessibility that makes regular people able, you know, more comfortable. Um, embracing it. But the tech is also raising concerns, like what happens if those AI answer generators give you the wrong answer or do the work for you? If we have students who have the ability to just go online and have an AI write an essay for them, uh, we're going to have to figure out new ways to evaluate students. There's also the question of how much do we give of ourselves to the companies generating the AI? In the case of Lenza, the company that makes those beautiful pictures from a headshot, well, they get to keep the images forever, do with them whatever they want, and never have to pay us a dime. Not really an even deal. Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.